before giving the baby a bath, I would prep the phone. A baby bath towel, um, baby attire, diaper to change into. I use socks instead of mittens because they stay on longer. So I use those to keep her to stop scratching her face. And some baby wash towels. The body wash that I use for a baby is Johnson's Cotton Touch. And they're not sponsoring this, I'm just showing you what I use. I use um, coconut oil. I put it in a different jar because it's easier to pour in this jar. But I use Vita, Coco, uh, Vita Coco, coconut oil, which is organic. And I use this measuring, this milliliter measuring cup to measure 10 mLs of the body wash and um, about under 5 mLs of the coconut oil. And I put the water in a bucket, in a, this red bucket to wash baby. This is just over 10 mil. Um, and this is what the soapy lukewarm water looks like. Now I use three towels for baby. One for the head and face and the mouth. Because I also clean her uh, teeth with the dish towel in her tongue. One for her... Um, one for her body and one for, <clears throat> you know, the diaper area. Coconut oil is also great for a cradle pad, but it takes a little time to get there uh, to remove it. But it's great for skin and cradle cap for the baby. And my baby is pretty much, she had cradle cap, but she's pretty much done with that. So I just gently rub her. I'm doing this one-handed with my weakest hand, so don't expect me. Don't expect this to be what you do in real life. Probably be a little bit more aggressive. It's just my weakest hand. I gotta hold the camera with one hand. <laughs> so I just clean around her face. Get in her little ear a little bit. That's... And then... It's really hard to get the neck fold unless you um, unless she has her head all the way up. But I just try to get around the area as best as I can. Burst milk will flow through there, so you want to get that cleaned. For her tongue and her her gums, I just ah ah say ah. ah. And as she proceeds to bite my finger off, you know, if the only thing that's available is to clean her gums, I just clean her gums. But if I can, I try to get her tongue as well. And let's try this again. Ah, ah. Say ah. Ah. Okay. I'm not going to be getting too much of... There we go. Let's clean it a little bit. And for... Cradle cap. You want to make sure you probably want to put a little bit more coconut oil in here in your bath water. And all you do is just take the wash rag and just gently wipe around her head in a circular motion. His or her head. Her or his head. You know, them's head. However, you want to justify gender. And that's it for the top. The second rag is going to get the uh, middle part of um, every other part of her body except for her bum. Except for the diaper area. So I'm not going to show you my baby naked, but 
The first thing I actually like to get in this phase is her hands because babies are always putting their hands in their mouths. So you really want them to have clean hands. And that's all I do, I just, you know, don't force it. I just kind of, not too much. I just kind of let her give me the hand. You know what I mean? And see how she's grabbing me? She's gonna give me the hand. You know, cause she's curious. Ooh, what's this? What does this feel like? You know? And bam, baby's got clean hands. And of course I'll be cleaning the rest of her body. I just won't be showing you my daughter naked. She might be mad at me in the future. Ain't that right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the last rag is what I use to uh, clean the diaper. But before I do that, I like to put, um, to protect the towel from having crap all over it, I like to put the, the bath towel. I like to put the previous towel under the diaper. So that when I take the diaper off, um, it's her bum's not going on the clean towel. Let me show you what I mean. First, I lift up her legs, and as I can see, the diaper is dirty, very obvious. Um, and we gotta change it. And I put the towel um, close enough to for me to get it underneath. And I slide it underneath like this. So that way, when I take the diaper off to change it, her bottom isn't on the, her dirty bottom isn't on the clean towel. It's on the wet rag. It's kind of like helping me do uh, the cleaning at the same time. Because I can just take that right up off of her and have that part wiped. I still wipe it, of course, and then uh, with the other towel. But it's kind of like a two-way solution, you know? baby has a very mild diaper rash so I didn't have to um, use too much more than the water the soap and water and coconut oil that was already in there but if your baby has a bad diaper rash um, it's a little bit more excessive than just mild what I would suggest that you do is take a towel and either put the coconut um, take take a hand towel. I used up all my hand towels by now. Um, and either put the coconut oil on the hand towel, um, or put about a one to one ratio of baby soap and coconut oil in the bath in her bath water. And all you're gonna do is just you're gonna lift up her. Her bum, of course, and you're just gonna paste or lather it on as if you were putting uh, putting a paste on. Do you know what I mean? On the uh, areas where it's affected. Even though it is for the diaper, you can use it for you know any other areas that are affected. That are affected, and all you do is just wipe it up. Take a towel, a hand towel, not the towel I'm using, and you just gently wipe the uh, the disturbed area with um, coconut oil and a towel. Be patient. Do this um, for at least two days, and in 48 hours, it sh you should see a significant increase um, or decrease, excuse me, of inflammation and uh, the little pimples that come with it, okay? It looks really bad when you f uh, see your baby uh, suffering from, uh, from a diaper rash, but it's curable. Don't be scared, don't panic like I did as a new parent. And I use the same products that I use all throughout, so I'm not wasting money on uh, you know, products like Aquaphor, even though I have it, I still haven't used it. Coconut oil was just fine. And all these other products, that you'll only use for one thing. I use a coconut in her hair. I use a coconut on her skin. You know, everywhere on her skin. I use a coconut oil for myself. That's right, baby. So, 
All right, that's that. When you're all done, the only thing that you have left to do is to change the baby. <laughs> and baby's just all fresh and so clean. Such a cutie pie, honey. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> wondering why I don't use this baby bath um, why I didn't use this baby bath in this video that's because these are a bit um, uncomfortable in my taste as far as my comfort with them uh, since my baby doesn't have you know she's only four months old as of today and she doesn't have too much head control so it's really kind of awkward to put your baby or at least for me to put my baby in one of these and as a parent one thing that i've learned is that it's okay to be slightly over cautious in the concern of safe you know in the realm of safety i'd rather be more cautious about her her neck you know and her head and have her on like a soft bed versus having her on this hard plastic and let something happen you know and actually to be honest with you I have a, a bath rug that's really thick and soft um, that I put her on as well to clean her because it just adds one more layer of protection until your baby can learn how to hold you know develop neck strength and hold their head up I feel it's a lot easier to do the good thing about this is it's uh, it was free for me and it it comes with uh, you know she can grow into it so i'm not using this for her as an infant i'm using this for her as a toddler infant toddler so when she gets a little older and has some neck control then i'll use this then in the meantime i'm using soft and thick surfaces soft or soft and thick surfaces all right bye Voila, baby's all done. And you might notice that she has socks instead of stop socks for mittens. Um, that's because the regular mittens fall off uh, very easily. And though it might look a little lame, once you see how your baby starts scratching themselves up, you're going to let that whole fashionable uh, idea fall out the window, fly out the window, because... Once again, caution and safety over the norm. Uh, I would rather be the more cautious parent and put something more sturdy. See how she was trying to rip that off? Something more sturdy on her, uh, on her hands to protect her face and the rest of her body from being scratched up. Um, because it's really hard to trim infant nails. Uh... So I do trim them when I can, uh, but you'll notice it's very easy to just like snap off um, for her to hurt. So I would rather just trim them when they get really overgrown, file them if I can, and then just less, you know, my fail safe is these socks. They work wonders versus mittens. Don't waste your money on mittens waste your money on socks not only can she wear them on her feet your baby can wear them on their hands you'll thank me later believe me say bye baby <laughs> say bye yeah yeah no okay and that's also a sign of hunger when they constantly got their hands in their mouth hunger or uh, sometimes for teething as well <laughs>